Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create table by using a graphical user interface in SQL Server. Let's go ahead and open SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. Go to a database. In my case, I'm going to your DB name. So once you are there, you will be going to tables, right click and say new and table. Now this template or window will open or you could call it wizard. Here you can provide the column name, you can provide the data type for that column and tell like if you allow nulls or you do not. If you will not click here it means it will not accept null values. If you will click here it means it will accept null values. So that's how it is. But before you will come here and start typing the names for your columns you need to understand your data and for which you want to create this table. So here I have some data in the Excel. I have sale person first name, last name, product name, item sold, sold price, sold date, city, state, country and region. So for these, this data I need to create the table. For each of the column the data type is very important. So you want to give some uh, precise data type or choose some precise data type. You do not want to waste the storage and eventually that can hurt the performance as well. So you don't want to select the wrong data types for your columns. Consider this first name and we have Amir that's five character string. We have M that's only one string and then we have Christy six character string. So we see from here we are saving the string data that can vary. So the length of or the number of characters can vary. But from this data I can tell the max will be 10 characters. But there is a possibility sometime we have lengthy names. So what we will do, we will create uh, this column as a var card and maybe go with the var card 20. So the maximum characters it can accept will be 20 and if uh, uh, there are less number of characters saved in that uh, uh, column it will take uh, whatever the uh, characters available so let's say if we will save uh, varkar sorry if we will save amir it will take only five bytes uh, to save this information if we will uh, save uh, m only that's it will take only one byte so that's what we are going to do go to the and uh, you can copy from here remember uh, the name in convention for your columns or tables is very important. If you have, if your company has some name in standards, fine. Otherwise, uh, uh, with your experience uh, or uh, um, follow some standard, you can go on Google and uh, uh, download the documents for name and convention of SQL Server objects. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the first column. I'm going to call this one first name. You see that I did not place uh, any space between them. Spa having space in the names of the columns or in the tables or even store procedure or any objects is not really recommend because once you will have the space you have to when you write your select query you always have to put double quotes around it like first name and from db or my table so that's the problem you have to put the quotes around it or if you don't want to put the quotes then you have to have the parentheses around it so square parentheses uh, that's what you need to put if you have space in your uh, column names or even table names so you don't want to use it also don't use the uh, the reserve keyword such as a case let's say if you have a, a table for maybe for customers or somewhere you are creating a, a column called case instead of said customer case you know you don't want to use the reserve keywords because if you will try to run this uh, um, with the with this column it will throw error so you don't want to do it otherwise you have to again have to have use parentheses around it or double quotes around it for those reserve keywords so avoid the spaces avoid the reserve keywords and have nice names for your columns as we were talking about first name and we said that it can be vary so the first name number of characters or the values for each value the number of characters can vary here we have five then we have one and six and four so we are going to select a var char that's going to let us save the string data and the max we will say okay 20 i'm not going to get 
first name more than 20 characters and uh, allow nulls i don't want to allow nulls i want this column to be not null so i'm going to leave this one as it is then uh, i'm going to go and get, say last name and uh, this is going to be watcher 20 as well and uh, i am okay with allowing null because there could be possibility the customer will not have a last name okay now here the product name so product name we see that uh, this is also not that many characters are here we see that uh, five and plus uh, so this is total nine characters or ten uh, so we are fine but uh, sometimes people might put samsung uh, cell phone samsung samsung or nokia or whatever so that can uh, uh, be issue if they put kind of description in front of it so let's uh, keep this one to the product name to the worker 50 product name 50 so if uh, you do not want to type it here that's absolutely okay if you click here in the drop down you will have all those data types so, so you can have a big integer binary and uh, um, that's how uh, they are sorted already so you can uh, scroll up and scroll down and select uh, so here uh, next time I will select from here and make a small change so I will show you next we have a uh, item sold so you see that uh, item sold is 1 2 and max is 10 so selecting a data type for these type of columns is very important as uh, we see that uh, the item sold cannot be really uh, maybe like a million or 2 million and all that and that these are like the max is 10 maybe you will sell 100 tv or 200 tv fine so in those cases uh, you need to estimate like what will be the max number in your case uh, we have 10 here maybe i will say maybe 100 at one time we can sell so in those cases uh, what i need to do i will say sql server data types but you can't remember everything so once you open the sql server data types so you go to data types and this is going to be integer because it is a number we have the categories and here we have exact numeric I say okay integer let me take a look and I see that in the integer I can save this is the max value I can save that's pretty big uh, number and I am not going to sell 2 billion TVs so that's not going to happen in my case in one transaction and uh, I feel like okay uh, I'm uh, somewhere here 0 to 255 that's the max number in between maybe 100 TVs I will sell so if I will uh, use the data type integer I have to take four bytes every time I save a value even small or large but if I will use the tiny int I will only take one byte in the storage so I'm gonna go ahead and select the tiny integer so let's uh, say tiny and int so once you start typing it will bring that okay not uh, I don't want a lot nulls because if I'm selling a product uh, sorry this was watcher 50 this was item sold that's the new column we can copy from here if you want and you go back here paste okay that's item sold tiny int I don't want uh, null and then I will move forward with the next uh, sold price uh, so if I will take the sold price uh, go back to the graphical user interface here and uh, I sold price so you see here in the data we have uh, numbers like 700 800 uh, but tomorrow if you will have uh, a data called uh, let's say um, 300 uh, 50 cents 999 cent in that case uh, you would like to save that uh, numeric data with the decimal points so we have uh, we have to come back and then we are going to go to the numeric data so we exact numeric because you don't want to select uh, let's say uh, you want uh, you will take float or real so in that case they will round off so you don't want to do that you want to say exact if you have hundreds of million or even thousands of transaction if you have thousand transaction and there is a um, 0.59 if it will round to the next uh, number then there will be 
not correct uh, information when we'll do the sum or uh, uh, take the sum uh, for those all the money. So we have to select uh, the exact uh, numeric uh, data type uh, that will save to the uh, penny level. So we are gonna go to small money. And here, uh, this is the max value I can save. So I feel that this is very, very reasonable. Uh, if I will uh, um, feel like, okay, I am going to save a big number, I can go with the money. But in my case, the small money is going to work. I don't want to waste the storage um, if I don't need to. So small money, just fine. Let's go back. So we'll try small money. Next, uh, we are going to select the sole data. So you see that we are only saving the data. We are not saving the time with data. So we will select only the data sold date. And here I'm going to type date. I don't have to type, remember, I can always scroll down and up uh, and select from there. It's just when I city, state and country region, I'm gonna select all this right by myself, city. And uh, this is a war. So you see war char, when I start typing it, it take it already had war char 50. So I can select that one if I feel like, okay, no, 50 is not that enough. Uh, and the 60, so I can make changes. So you can type by yourself or select from there. City, state, and uh, then we have uh, war char 50. I'm gonna go with that. Some states has pretty lengthy names, uh, country, Watch your 50. So there could be possibility there is a country that is more than 50 characters long as a country name. So I will say Google it and take that data, put into some table and take the max length out of data. And then we have region. Watch our 50. Now, See here, if you will take a look on this data, you have these some uh, uh, symbols for this uh, Paris. Uh, we have Paris as a, a city, then we have state. Uh, I can't really uh, read this. I am not really good in reading these things. So let's say if you are saving the data uh, from Chinese language or Arabic language or uh, French language, so that if the correct set uh, uh, th that cannot be saved in war car. So Chinese character set uh, is uh, that that's where we need uh, the n war car. So that will take two byte, but that will save the Unicode letters uh, for us. So if uh, uh, you are saving uh, just the English war characters, uh, fine. Uh, is war car is gonna just work fine? It will take one byte to save. Uh, the each character but in cases uh, where you need to save uh, some uh, other characters uh, from uh, uh, other language alpha, um, I'm saying characters or alphabets uh, uh, from other languages such as Arabic or Chinese uh, you need n worker so I'm gonna go ahead and say n worker it will take uh, two bytes uh, to save each character or alphabet so we're good here once uh, this definition is done uh, uh, what we can do, we, we have this button here, generate change script. I can click here and it will generate this uh, script for me. I'm gonna go ahead and copy, select uh, all, scroll, copy. So I'm going to open an, and uh, uh, auto generate changes script. I'm gonna cancel this from here. Just open a new query and paste it there. Okay, now we are going to close this window. So what will happen, it will uh, ask us okay do you want to save the changes to this item yes and it is uh, going to ask us tell us the tell me the name you would like to have for your table so i'm going to call this one my or a customer uh, graphical user interface and hit okay now once you do that it is uh, going to create a table and uh, you see that here this table is uh, created so you have a first name or last name on all those columns here you can see it is perfectly fine for and we can uh, move forward with our next step so l uh, remember here i also created uh, this uh, script so if uh, you, you don't want to uh, hit okay at the end uh, you can take uh, the scripts uh, change the name of the table whatever the name you would like uh, and uh, create from here also let me show you uh, let's uh, call customer GUI one and uh, also 
because this script uh, can be used uh, to generate this uh, or create this table uh, in other uh, environments uh, as well so if we go ahead and uh, run it um, you can see that we have this table created so you can provide this uh, script to your DBA and tell him hey go ahead and create this table in QA UATN production so we need that otherwise uh, you're fine you don't need to generate the script absolutely okay you create the table right click here on the table once it's created and say script table as create and a new query window that's uh, the same script uh, it will generate the create definition create table table name and uh, give us all those columns here so you can provide this uh, to your DBA so he can uh, create the table in the QA UATN production for you thanks very much uh, for watching this video and uh, again uh, all the scripts will be available on Tech Brothers IT you can uh, go there I have a SQL server T SQL tutorial and that's where I'm putting all those chapter and uh, uh, scripts so, so you can see that this is chapter 5 that's where we are working on and uh, this is uh, the part of how to create a table by using a graphical user interface um, so if you see here I have the post written as well so if you don't want to watch a video you can simply follow the post thanks again and I will see you guys in the next video